She wears a Torah from the Anshamash. And it's called What You See. And there was evening, and God saw that it was good. Behold with your eyes the miracles of retina and cornea, pressure and fluids competing, completing each other, extraordinary tools of examination and vision. Look, observe, see what is around you. So simple yet so complex, images before our eyes, shapes of all sizes, angles and sweeping arcs, light and dark, luscious colors layered upon colors. We see objects impossibly small and those so large that they defy description. This is the prose of the eyes. No, this is the poetry of seeing. We blink and a new scene is revealed. We blink and the world is invented anew. And God saw that it was good and there was mourning. What do you see when you walk to work or the garage from your bathroom to the kitchen in your garden or where you sit now? Look as far as your eyes can see or an inch from you. Do you see the bees hover over the flowers? the raindrops as they splash in puddles at your feet? Do you notice the tiny ants as they work? Do your eyes marvel at the symmetry of feathers? Can you see the rhythm of a beating pulse, the long graceful curve of the horizon, the geometry of a snowflake, the dimples on a face? Do you see plenty or poverty? Do you see darkness or light? Do you see the blessing or the curse? Can your eyes see happiness? What is the first thing you see in the morning and the last thing before you close your eyes at night? <clears throat> Do our eyes see the difference between right and wrong? Do our eyes have such power? Can we see apathy? Can we see charity, kindness, envy? Do our eyes see what is or what we want to see? And what do we miss when we avert our eyes? What do you see when you're alone, when you're lonely? Can we see love? Is our heart the lens through which we see? What do you see through the eyes of others? What do you see when tears cloud your vision? And what do you see when your vision is jaded by age, power, unhappiness, or pain? And what do you see when your eyes, those miraculous vehicles that open worlds, no longer allow you the power of vision? Is memory the gift of the sightless? Is imagination the gift for those who see not? These eyes, two gifts, two glassy mirrors seeing into our hearts, that opened the theater of countless universes of darkness and light, of blessings and curses of life. And if you will allow me to just add this little piece from uh, Masachet Brachot. When the sages who had been studying there took leave of the study hall of Rabbi Ami, and some say it was the study hall of Rabbi Hanina, they would say to him the following blessing. May you see your world. May you benefit from all the good in the world in your lifetime. And may your end be in the life of the world to come. And may your hope be sustained for many generations. May your heart meditate understanding, your mouth speak wisdom, and your tongue whisper with praise. May your eyelids look directly before you, your eyes shine in the light of Torah, and your face radiate like the brightness of the firmament. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Leanne, for reminding us so powerfully how what we see helps uh, contour our hearts and how our hearts direct uh, the, the, the things that we envision. Beautiful. Yes, Thank you so much.